and we are getting that dreaded click and we're dropping down to six volts. So that's definitely not gonna start it. So I'm gonna hook up to the jump pack here and then we're going to see if it does what it's supposed to. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. And then we started adding timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com. And we got a replacement tool in the shop here. It's one of these car, truck, motorcycle, small engine jump starters. And while there's a lot of brands out there, this one costs our attention because of the amp hour rating and the size of it. Is, is pretty big too with that battery to where I really like having this option to charge cell phones and accessories when camping. So I think having these spare battery packs, if you will, are also really beneficial for that too. They just make it really nice and easy. Hey, I'll fast forward it for you folks. If you're a member of the channel, there'll be a link to the pro tip video on what I do for a battery charge program so that you don't overlook charging batteries and all your items. I got a pretty cool process I use for that. It's a little pro tip. You can check that out. Otherwise, let's get back into reviewing this product. But what I wanted to do is create some scenarios where I wanted to force this to work. So I wanted to show you, I'd put a brand new battery and charged it up in my DL1000 here. And I just wanted to show you that it's a good battery. What I'm doing is I'm draining it down. And I want to get it down to a point where the bike won't start on its own. And then that'll require this, right? Put it on, see what happens once it energizes, see what the voltage reads. But these are pretty cool. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I love the case on this one. Uh, my old one was in a soft bag and uh, I ended up getting my own case because, you know, it's bouncing around under the seat. Obviously comes with the jumper cables to put on a battery. These clips look nice and small, like they'll work good on power sports style connections, which is our big focus here on this channel. It comes with a charge cable and then manual, of course. When I got this, it was almost charged up. I've got a 100% charge now. It'll tell you charging in and out whatever's happening there that's cool that'll flip back and forth and then it has you know features like lights and then yep you can turn those off like that and then it has ports one of these is both in and out okay so the USB-C I believe is only in one of these per the manual is an in and out and that's what that charge cable is it's got a USB you know, outlet end on it so that you can just plug that into your wall. Now, one thing that you'll want to take a look at is it has a maximum specification at 15 watts. Here it is to show you that it's charging here. It's got 11 watts coming from this plug right here. So like I said, make sure you know what you're working with. This one here, that is, let's zoom in there. That is 20 would be too much. So that's something you want to keep in mind to have the right kind of charger to charge it up. The other thing you'll notice when it's charging, it'll say in. And if you have something like you're charging a device on these other ones here, that's going to switch to out. And then your percentage will go down and set up. The other end of this is where you hook up, see the little car for those cables. But uh, yeah, let me get this battery drained down. Then we'll come back, see how this thing performs. And I'll be right back. All right, friends, let's see. From leaving the key in the park position, which left a tail light and a marker light on, we got 10.82 volts on that same perfectly good battery. So let's see what happens here. Heard the fuel pump turn on. The clutch has to be pulled on this, but I wouldn't be able to do it one-handed, but let's see. And we are getting that dreaded click and we're dropping down to six volts. So that's definitely not gonna start it. So I'm gonna hook up to the jump pack here and then we're going to see if it does what it's supposed to. So real simple, I'm gonna hook up to positive negative on the battery. That should make sense to you. Try to do this one handed here. Let me just set this case down. Okay. So I'm gonna go in here, hook that up, hook it up to the battery. I've seen different people powered on or not powered on. I'm going to try and see what happens when I just plug it in. What's supposed to happen is these lights here, when it's on, it's going to go from red and green back and forth. And when it's on the battery and ready to go, it'll turn a solid green. All right, let's try it.
it went green. So I'm going to try without turning it on. It looks like it's working without being powered on. Let's try it. Wow, that's fantastic. Now to prove that this was coming from here, the key is off and you can see that voltage dropped all the way back to 11 volts. This most likely won't start the bike again without it. Let's go ahead and try. Yep, dead. This is what started the motorcycle. So that's pretty stinking cool. I mean, that did what it is supposed to do. Let's see how well the light works in here. Pretty rad. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Well, this is interesting. That's really important to know that one jump on this took it down to 50%. And that was something I wanted to test is to figure out how many jumps could you get out of it. Let's do it one more time and see how much it knocks it down again. That's a grand idea. There, we're here, we went green. That's it. All right, two jumps. Let's see what we're at. That didn't take much. So it didn't knock it down as much the second time, but it definitely started the bike. And just to prove it again, make sure we're clear I'm not doing any funny business here. You know, I don't have enough in it to start the bike without it. So it, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do. All right, my friends, I'll put a link to this below, but if you haven't done so yet, make sure and check them out. See if this is something that work out for you. This is pretty cool. We'll keep doing some more tests. We'll try it on some cars and trucks and different vehicles. All right, my friends, I'm gonna have to say that is a win. That thing is pretty cool. Once again, I like this case as well. Nice little pouch there. That fits better there. Charging cable in here. Let's alligator clamps down in here. And then I want to make sure to get this back on a charger back when you get home so that you can uh, have it fully charged and ready to go for the next time. And we'll keep testing on some other vehicles, test on some cars, some trucks, some RVs, a boat, all kinds of stuff over time just like we did our last one, all the tools we do here. And we'll do a long-term wrap-up on it in the future. We want to thank these guys for supporting the How to Wrench YouTube channel. We'll look to have some giveaways on one of these in the future as well. If this video helped you out, make sure and like subscribe and share and if you're new to the channel consider joining i have some information following on that as always my friends make it a great day and keep wrenching hey friends we're super excited to announce that the how to wrench channel has been approved for memberships what's that mean for you what would it look like if you could get member only content many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do it first. I mean, really people from all over the world countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to themselves or to advance in their career. Videos are coming back. That's a membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're going to get access to member-only streams and live chats to really call in, ask questions, and get answers on the spot and have a, a back-and-forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super glad. that. And with the member, it's going to really make it more intimate. We're going to be able to bring that back into the... Instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots, this community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers. You gotta remember, I love YouTube too. When I wanna learn something, it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that I'm trying to do. So we love that we can do this for you as 
of a community that is more, we want to be more relationship focused. The other thing is YouTube does this. I think it's kind of funny, but we're doing the emojis. So if you're a new member, it's going to be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, a silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your, you know, top certified. But we had a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love in here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to see. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I've always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. As I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really, it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this to really easily, just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So when you hit that join button, it'll tell you what tiers, you can figure out what works best for you. We're already getting content that's, I hope that you're working on something that's making, keep branching. Thank you.